another morning on unpacking and this morning we are going to be having you know a conversation with a lady who has you know good energy she she said that she couldn't wait to see how my hair looked on tv so jane you can see that now right so <laughs> jane fire is you know um our guest on unpacking this morning let's get into the conversation let's get to know jean more she's been doing the music for about a decade now um she actually got you know a nomination um at three music awards and so she's not new to the game at all but let's see how she takes us down memory lane um in her personal life and then also to her career. Hi, Jean. Hi. You're welcome. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? I'm okay. Good. I look good. You Damn. Do. You do. I should be on TV more often, too. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's my girl. Anyway, well, high energy. I like it. Always. Anyway, for those who, um, you know, are new to Jean, right, yeah. who would you say Jean is? First as an individual, and then your progression as a brand. Oh, I mean, as an individual, I'm someone, like, I dream so big. Like, everything I do, I want it to be, I want it to affect people in a way where I'm beyond just, I don't want to, I don't just want to be famous. Okay. Um, that's my whole thing, because I feel like we have to wake up as a people. We have to work together to, like, empower each other. Mm -hmm. Of course, these platforms are very important in the work we're doing, but it's like, if I, I um, like, I'm also from Shy State, right? And today, on my way back, well, yesterday. Also well, from where? Shy State. Shy. Yeah. Okay. Is it shy in the, shy like, beyond Tema? Because <laughs> you said Shy State. Yeah, I was wondering. Shy State. Okay, okay. I went on my way back, I saw so many, like, situations where I was like, damn, I could never live like that. We have to elevate the standards. Like, my whole thing is figuring out how to elevate the standard. Mm -hmm. I know I can't save everyone, but... You can do your bit. I can do my bit, right? And, um, like, when I came back home today, like, into Accra, I saw so many houses that I, like, I wouldn't live in them. Like, I get it that they are, like, homes for certain people, mm -hmm. but I wouldn't live in, live in them. How do we build a society that is mutually beneficial, right? right. Like... On one, hand, on one end, it's making money, enough money to save people. But on the other side, it's also kind of elevating the, you know, standard the of living. Standard. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm concerned about. Like, I'm pretty, I make great music, I've done a lot of stuff. Uh -huh. And if you Google my name, you find this bunch of, I think I have like seven nominations. I haven't That's won nice. anything. Yeah, like it's cute. Well, I mean, I think... I, I say this a lot that, you know, the nomination is recognition enough. Yeah. You know, if um, you are you keep at it and you keep consistent, consistently making the music or whatever art or craft that you are um, invested in, you will one day, you know, reap what you're sowing, you know, in the way of gaining awards. So, yeah, that's good. But introduce us to the brand as well, right? Okay. When the whole thing started um, for you and then nipping your name, right? What's the full name? Please, just put okay. it out there. I don't know if I want to put my government on national television, but my name <laughs> is Janine Firefight. Okay. So, nipping that, um, you, you, you did mention that you, Mr. Easy helped you, you know, um, come up with your brand name, right? What's, I, the, what's the relationship with Mr. Easy like? And how did all of that happen? I mean, I wouldn't say he helped me, but I guess, right? Um, the Ghanaian music industry is really small. Mm -hmm. And I've always loved being authentic to myself and just making music. Um, and um, like the circles I've been in, He's also been very heavy in that. Okay. Like before, you know, before his, his come up and everything. Mm -hmm. And it was like, okay, because I, I, I went by Cupid XO for a minute. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Do you yeah. love love that much? I'm such a lover girl. Oh, it's insane. Okay. It's such, okay. I'm such a lover girl. And then um, we're in the studio and I was like, okay, what are we going to do? Are we going to do what are we going to do? And then it was like um, Janine Firefly. I was like, okay, so either we're going to stick with Cupid XO, or we're we gonna go with Gene Fire, which is basically shortening my first name and my last name. 
and then we st- we stuck with it. You know, I was like, okay, what do you guys think, Jean Fire mm-hmm. or like Jean Fire, of course, but, or um, Jean Fire for those who speak French. Thank you. <laughs> you. You know, I like you. You know what's good. Um, and then like everyone in the studio was like, yo, Jean Fire is sick. Jean Fire nice is special. Name. Yeah. So that's what, how it happened. He was there. It was just me, him, and Clue. I feel like Clue is like one of those people that the foundation of like independent music in, mm-hmm. in Ghana specifically, he has impacted so much, including me, including mm-hmm. Mr. Easy, including yes. so many others, like Joey B and like a bunch of others, like countless, right? Mm-hmm. He, he definitely deserves his credit. And he was like in the studio with us all together and we were just like three of us. And then it was like, okay, so I'm, I want to change my name. I want it to be more authentic to myself. And then Gene Fire was like, right there. Was that one. Now, yeah. you, I, I can say that you, you made a good decision, you yeah. know, going by Gene Fire, because it's, it's a name that stands out, right? And then it gives some anim, an, anonymity as well, because then, you know, you can't exactly tell, you know, whether this person is white or is black. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because of the <laughs> name, like, I think that it's, it has some, you know, exotic touch or feel to it. That's that's just what I mean. I but feel. yeah, but also, um, you know, creating the brand, making music, having been in the industry, you know, for as long as you've been, and then championing alternative, right? Let's talk about the decision to even, you know, do alternative because it's a thing we say here that. Alternative is not exactly what it is, you know. It's just a bunch of really talented, creative people who put their heart, soul, blood, sweat, and tears in their music, are so, you know, passionate about what they do, but are yet to be discovered, right? And Mm -hmm. so we just relegate all of them into one box and say they are alternative. I think alternative music has become an umbrella for people that are also still experimenting with their sound. Mm. Um, there's a lot of stuff I could say in regards to like, oh, like influence and all that, but I don't think it's important. I think become like choosing to become an alternative artist foundationally, mm-hmm. for me, like looking back, it really just means like becoming someone who makes music for the love of music and perfecting the message you want to bring to the world. And I mean, I love music, I really do. Like I take that very serious. Mm -hmm. But I would, I I don't look at music at all. Music has to get me rich. Like I'm a tech girl, right? Like I have helped, you know, like bring tech companies into the forefront of society. Mm Like, I do con- a lot of consulting and stuff. Okay. And tech I, consulting? Yeah, that does well. Like, oh. I, I'm very deep into Web3. Um, but I think this next era we're about to step in mm-hmm. is going to require us to think deeper into our roles in society. Mm-hmm. Going back to what I was saying before, it's like, I, I, I come here and it's air conditioning, the lights are beautiful, mm-hmm. right? You are absolutely gorgeous. Thank like, you're you. fit. From head to toe, Thank you, you didn't come to play. <laughs> like, girl, ate that, right? But then, honestly, the the standard of living is not what we what it needs to be, mm-hmm. right? How do we combine our love for art and creativity? How do we combine that as a community mm-hmm. and elevate the standard of living, right? Mm-hmm. That's what I'm trying to do with my company, which is called Old Island. Okay, so tell tell me more about Old Island. So what do you do? So Old Island mm-hmm. is building the infrastructure for companies and creators to be able to communicate with their co- like with their communities, communicate with their communities. That's so fine. that's like a CSR wing for you. If we can say that. Mm, I guess, but it, it's more like I'm building a platform for. I don't want us to take our passion shouldn't be for free. If we are passionate right. about someone or something, mm-hmm. it shouldn't be for free. Mm-hmm. If you like this, right, mm-hmm. you've done amazing work, right? You in, your interviews are excellent. Thank your you. Your communication skills, you've really made sure you honed your skill. And I'm sure there are women and men around the world that are like, yo, this girl, I want to learn from her. Mm-hmm. How do you monetize that influence? How do you bring people to your table to right. the, on a level where it's mutually beneficial and it, does, it doesn't feel like, Oh, power macho. Mm-hmm. You're not begging them. Do you understand? 
<laughs> like it's a it's a yeah. mutual beneficial yeah. situation. So that's what I'm trying and to... And respect is present. And it's respect really is present. Thank you. That's what I'm building. Meanwhile, I learned how to produce my own music. Mm. I've always written my own music. I love writing music. And I'm perfecting my own voice, right? Okay. So all I'm trying to say is, being an artist is beautiful for me. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. It's like, it's so easy for me. But being an artist, you're an artist to me, right? Being able to come and communicate with... With, with creators, it's, art, really. it's a it's an art, mm -hmm. right? But how do we elevate it to the point that the power that you wield, mm -hmm. how do we make that something that benefits our society? Right. That's what I'm doing with Old Island. On right? the side, yeah. okay. Now, being a musician, being into tech, so you're very big on Web three. Yes. You know, um, you're a songwriter, and you have Old Island as well. Oh, how Old how, how, how are you able to, you know, combine all of these things successfully? You know, how do you even spend your free time if you have that? So combining all of it and then spending, you know, whatever little free time you have doing whatever you love doing. How mm. do you do that? I don't have free time. I literally, I'm in a crowd for seven days. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm, I literally just came from Ace. <laughs> okay. What's because your next location? My next um, location? From, from Ghana? Uh, I'm going back to Berlin. Okay. But the reason why I needed to come home, I needed to feel it. I needed to feel the people. I needed mm -hmm. to feel the sound. I needed to feel what it's really like to be home. Okay. Do you understand? Yeah. We, as a people, have an opportunity to use the music that we enjoy, to use the, the, the talent that we harness, mm -hmm. right? To create like an epic momentum, something that's never been done before. Right. So me coming home for seven days, this is my break. Oh, this is, this is okay. my break. Okay. I'm on my, this, this is, is my, my holiday. Chill time. This is my chill time. <laughs> this is my chill time. But, but I mean, you mentioned, you know, songwriting and exploring yes. your own voice and all of that, right? Have you written any songs for, you know, other artists um, aside yourself? Um, beyond writing for other artists as well, uh, are we really looking at collaborations? I know you have a new one with Nigerian musician Rex, With My Time. Yeah. We'll, we'll talk about that. But okay. before then, let's talk about, you know, writing for other people and then also, you know, collaborations. I'm not going to lie. Um, I, am an, I am a ghostwriter. Uh -huh. Do you know? I'm a ghostwriter, like I have written a lot of songs and I'm so grateful for God for blessing me mm -hmm. with the ability to make something out of my passion. Mm -hmm. um, the most important thing for me is that the message is clear. Um, when I started writing songs, I was young, you know? How I young? Mm, How nine, young is young? Nine, nine, eight years old. Oh, yeah. that's young. Yeah, it's young. But I didn't know who I was. How old are you? It, I'm not gonna ask. In fact, don't <laughs> I ask. Don't mind. I okay. well, well, you okay. don't mind. Let's go. Okay. So no matter how old you are, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know when you when you remember feeling like a woman, like you know who you are. Mm -hmm. And that's where I've gotten to in the last two years. I feel oh. like I know who I am. Okay, but but having having um, been writing songs since age so nine. Yeah. Were you writing love as well? I'm asking because, you know, you said you are big on love. Your name was Cupid XO. What was your experience, you know, with love, even at that young age? Um, I have a mother that pours. Her, everything she knows is extreme. If a mother pulls up right now, we'll close the show. Because my mother is so intentional and flamboyant. Uh -huh. Um, I've always been an extremist when I, I'm a, I'm a, to my core, I'm a romantic. Right. That means even when I was young, I like knew you, I'm so sick of love mm -hmm. songs, right? You've so, grown up on all of those yeah, things, Yeah, that's right. the song songs I was growing up on. So I always wrote about like love and all that good stuff. Now I've gotten to a point where I'm beyond just f talking about love in a, hypothetical sense. Mm -hmm. Of course, I've, I have my own experiences. I, I've gotten to a point where I'm producing my own songs. Mm -hmm. That's what I wanted to get. Right. I wanted to get to a point where I produce my own songs and I love it. So now I'm working on an EP. Oh, hold, hold on with that. <laughs> hold, hold on with that. You mentioned, you know, you wanted to come home, you know, yes. to, you know, ease up, have fun, you're on your break and all of that. But having been in Ghana, you know, for the past, 
couple of days. Um, have you met up with any Ghanaian musicians who you want to make music with? If so, I'll be glad if you tell me, you know, who they are, um, even if the song is not going to come anytime soon, because we also understand that the songs are made and kept sometimes for years or decades, if I can say that, right? So um, let, let, let's get into that. Oof, I feel like the, I feel like our conversation is so sexy because we go there and then we go here and then we go here and then we go here. May come be a nice fantasy, but in regards to musicians in the industry that I really love, mm -hmm. um, Bifo Bona is a an artist I admire. He's I was good. with yeah, I'm excellent. Like Sofo Meko. What do you mean? Like yes, Sofo Meko. Sofo Meko. Sofo Meko. I say. I say like a pasta that is not really a uh -huh, pasta. Uh -huh, or ye ke ke. Or ye bi. Or ye bi. Who, who do you refer to as of Moko? That's before Bona song. Oh, please. Ah, okay. Please, okay, okay, Moko okay, Jill. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> then we have um, Efias Haya, mm -hmm. inspiring. Also a friend of mine. Um, before Bona, also a friend of mine. Then like uh, EL, we just worked on a record. Oh, I nice. I can't wait for it to come out. Oh, nice. Do you, do you have an idea when it's coming? Um. I don't think I'm allowed to say. Okay, it's like I don't think I'm allowed okay. to say. No, that's okay. I feel like if I talk, it will be too much. It's okay. Yeah. I mean, sometimes you have to, you know, let the food cook so, so and that, before you it's serve a, it. It's so. a, it's the man in that form. It's all man in that, that form. form. Yeah. Okay, but but um, we have new music, right? Waste my time, which we, we we've touched on the creation of um, waste my time with Rex. Let's yes. um, speak on that, and then I'll let you go. Okay, well. Um, Waste My Time was created, there's an a &R called Mora Allen. Mm -hmm. It sounds like that name is a fake name, but that's actually his name. His name is Moro, and he has a brother Moral. called and he has a brother called Handsome. It's so funny, <laughs> but that's a story for another day. Their parents were on something else. They're serious <laughs> people. They're Nigerians. And um, he hit me up. He was like, listen, I've heard your music. I love what you do. I think your pen is amazing. I need you to come on this record with me. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, um, Rex, the artist, because Moral is the a and mm -hmm. or like artist relations, like he puts together producers. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, so Rex wrote his song, and I'm a Christian. I'm born again Christian. <laughs> and it's so bad, because how can you be a bad and be a born again Christian, right? It's okay, because at the end of the day, you don't know what anyone does in their closet, you know. Exactly, yeah. but I, tr I, want to be, I want to be authentic to, in my work. Mm -hmm. Point is, he played me the song, I heard the song, I was like, I don't know if this is like the type of song I'm ready for, but then I was like, why don't I elevate it? Because he elevated on his end, so right. it's now my turn to elevate it. So I wrote a verse about loving someone so much that you're like, hey, we're not talking right now. I know you're distant and you're away somewhere, but I love you so much. If you need someone to pray for you, I'm here. Mm -hmm. If you need someone to love you, I'm here. Because the song is about like, waste my time, like don't waste my time kind of thing, right? Like, oh, I'm hustling, I'm trying to make it in life. Please don't waste my time. Mm -hmm. And then I come in as the girl in with the verse when I'm like, you know, if you're looking for someone to pray for you to get to your throne, mm -hmm. come to me. You know? Because I was going to say, I was going to say that no one wants their time wasted. So no. how, how are we, you know, asking you know time to be wasted? But yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Do you have it on DSPs already? All the DSPs everywhere. got it. Okay. In general, like my music is everywhere. Um, also, like Old Island, the work we are doing with artists is so important. Um, we are really stepping into a new era. So my music is available on all DSPs. Okay. Information on Alt Island is available everywhere. And in general, I think as a community, as artists, our responsibility is to use our voice to do more. To do more. And yeah. what it meant in 2010 is that's not what it me means in 2024. True, true, true. It's time our time to change. elevate. Yeah. Thank you so much, Jean. Thank you so much. Now, our guest um, this morning on Unpacking is Jean Fire. She has spoken about elevation and, you know, doing better and contributing her voice to society to see society get onto a pedestal that she envisions. Now, she has a new one out, which we just spoke about, Waste My Time, it features Rex. She's also mentioned that it's available on all DSPs. So, go run the numbers up. Like I always say, 
play a Ghana song today. And yes, she may not sound Ghanaian, but you heard her speak tree, so she is very much Ghanaian, okay? <laughs> Definitely with some roots across the world, but yes, please let us stream a Jim Fire song today. My name is Lenny Lamote. You already know what it is. Your international TV and radio presenter living in Ghana at the moment. <laughs> 